Hi, I am Dr. Shweta Shah, a gynecologist, a laparoscopic surgeon, founder and director of Twameva Clinic Mumbai. In today's video, we are going to learn everything about dermoid cysts. Now, dermoid cysts are commonly seen growths inside the ovary and they develop in women in the age group of 15 to 40 years. Whenever the egg and the sperm meets, it results in fertilization developing into an embryo. The cells around the embryo are known as the totipotent cells. Now, these cells have the ability to differentiate into any kind of tissue inside the body. When few of these totipotent cells migrate and get embedded into the substance of the ovary, they can remain silent for years together. But sometimes they may grow producing a dermoid cyst inside the ovary. The contents of the dermoid cyst can be anything ranging from fat, bone, hair, tooth. These totipotent cells, however, do not have the potential to develop into a fully grown fetus. Most of the dermoid cysts are asymptomatic. Few of them produce symptoms like pain or pressure symptoms. Pain can occur because of three complications like torsion, infection or rupture. Torsion is a medical emergency wherein the cyst gets twisted over its ligament reducing or damaging the blood supply to the ovary. If this is not treated immediately, then the blood supply to the ovary is completely compromised and it results into the death or gangrene of the ovary. In such situations, we might have to remove the ovary via a surgery to save the patient's life. Otherwise, if it is diagnosed in time, we can just untwist the cyst leading to conservation of the ovary. Now, these cysts are commonly diagnosed when a woman undergoes an ultrasound for some other problem. The other ways by which a dermoid cyst can be confirmed is by doing an X-ray or a CT scan. Treatment of dermoid cyst unfortunately needs a surgery. The criteria for operating over a dermoid cyst include pain, pressure symptoms when the size of the cyst is more than 5 cm and when there are complications like torsion or infection. One should always bear in mind that the recurrence rate of dermoid cyst is high if the surgery is not performed properly. The surgery for a dermoid cyst can be performed using a laparoscopic or a minimal invasive technique. Whenever any surgery is being performed on the ovary, it is quite possible that some of the normal ovarian tissue may be lost while removing the pathology. But the part of the ovary which remains behind after removing the disease can still produce eggs which will not compromise your fertility potential further. Dermoid cysts are mostly benign growths inside the ovary. Very rarely about 2% of them can turn into cancer which is then called as an immature teratoma. It is very difficult to differentiate between dermoid cyst and an immature teratoma via the blood test, ultrasound scans, CT scans and so on and so forth. The only way by which an immature teratoma can be diagnosed is by examining the cyst after it has been removed completely. As I previously told you that the recurrence rate of dermoid cyst is very high, all patients have to be under regular follow-ups at an interval of about 6 months by an ultrasound to diagnose the cyst early so that it does not increase much in size. Thank you. For further such updates on women health, kindly subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon. 
bye till i see you the next time